How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Voro Motors. I'm AJ Hart here today with another guide to maintain your rod. For today's video, we're going to be doing a controller replacement for the Fido, which is not as difficult as it sounds. It is a bit of a brain transplant, but luckily the Fido makes this kind of job super easy because the controller is very accessible. Honestly, replacing your own controller isn't something that you're likely going to need to do, at least within the first two years. But within the first full year, you will be covered under our warranty. If it's after that and you're experiencing controller issues, now is the point where you might need to take care of this yourself. Now this job is admittedly pretty easy to take care of. There's only going to be about five things that I recommend, only two of which you really need for the job. The two things that you absolutely need are going to be a 13 millimeter socket wrench and a pick so that you can get all the guck off. The three things that I would recommend that you have for this job is a cell phone so you can take photos of everything that you want to plug, a hot glue gun so that you can put everything back together the way you took it apart, and some gloves so you don't shock yourself dealing with the electrical bits. If you have all of those, we can jump right into the job, get it all taken care of. To begin this job, we need to get to the controller of the Fido, which is inside the seat. To get under there, we need to remove all three of the bolts located underneath the seat. Now that all three of those are free, we can lift that seat up and off. You're also going to notice this foam guard. Pull that away as well. And there's our controller. Grab some gloves and start pulling the controller out. Once the controller is out, we should unplug all the parts that have power. Start by unplugging the battery, which is the yellow connection here. Then we should unplug the motor. Disconnect these thick yellow, blue, and green cables. Since we're here, we can also unplug this large white connector that houses most of the cables. Squeeze the tab on top and pry this apart. Okay, now, before we move on, I want to mention the controllers. The controller I'm removing is an older model of controller. It has since been updated to blue cables rather than green. If your Fido is newer than the one I'm operating on, you'll be unplugging and replugging all blue cables, but I'm unplugging green cables and reconnecting a new blue controller. All the connections are the exact same, the colors are just a bit different. Now, with any job that requires unplugging, I do recommend taking photos of every connection you see. All right, let's get to unplugging these. You should notice that just about all these connections in the Fido have this clear white gunk holding them together. This is glue that's used to help the connection stay solid and to help waterproof these connections. In order to unplug these, we'll need to carve that glue out. Use a small pick or tool, I'm using a half of a tweezer, and push that glue away from the lever of the connection. This will minimize the possibility of damaging the connector. Once the glue is off, we can unplug the connection itself. Squeeze the top and pry it apart. To start, we will unplug this set of green, black, blue, red cables that connect to green, black, white, red cables on the Fido. Next, we will unplug this connection of a black and white cable that runs to a blue and white connection. Don't forget to get photos of every connection in case you get lost. That way you have something to reference back to later. Our next connection is a set of two black cables and one yellow cable that connect to a yellow and brown pair of cables on the Fido side. Moving on, there's going to be a large connection with four cables, two black, two yellow, that we will unplug now. It runs into a connection with just one black and one yellow cable. Now you'll notice that this set of four cables on the controller side does connect to the Fido on another spot if you follow the cable that runs off. It plugs into another black and yellow pair of cables. 
So when you unplug this, we need to make sure that we don't mix up the two black and yellow cables coming from the feed out. So before we unplug the second pair, we're going to mark this second black and yellow cable from the feed out, so it's easy to identify later. Now we can pick away the glue and unplug this connection. Next, we're going to unplug this set of three, black, green, white, disconnecting it from a black, yellow, red set of cables. Just two connections left, we're almost there. Pick away the glue from this green, green, white to red, yellow, green connection and unplug this now. And you can see our controller is free now. The last thing we need to disconnect is our alarm system. That will be this red, black, green cable from the controller to the red, black, orange cables of the horn. Now we're ready to swap the controller. As previously mentioned, now that I'm plugging the controller in, most of the green cables will be blue now, which will be what you should receive if you are ordering a replacement controller. Let's start with getting those two similar connections out of the way while it's still fresh in our heads. The black black yellow yellow connection is going to go to our unmarked black and yellow connection from the feed out. And then our little flyaway will connect to the marked black and yellow cables. Next, since we're on a black and yellow roll right now, we'll hunt down our black, black, and singular yellow connection from the controller and plug that into the yellow and brown cable from the feed out. Now running off this, you'll see a black and white connection, which matches up to blue and white cables right here. Next up is this set of four cables, blue, black, blue, red, plugging in and matching up with green, black, white, red. Now this cable here, black, white, green to black, yellow, red. And the next connection for the Fido will be this blue green white connection that matches up to red yellow green and finally we can reconnect our alarm red black blue will connect to red black orange and we're going to leave this last cable unplugged Last, and certainly not least, let's put this large white connection back together as well. Now that the controller is connected, the last thing that needs plugged in is all of our power. Let's plug the battery back in with that yellow connection, as well as our three motor connections, yellow, green, and blue. Now that everything's plugged together, it's important we make sure all of our electronics work. Grab your fob and test the alarm button. Twist the throttle to check for power on the rear wheel. And squeeze the brake and twist the throttle again to make sure the e-brake activates. Now flip the light switch on and off to check your lights. Everything looks good to me. Now before we put it all together, as an option for this job, if you have a hot glue gun, you can also rebind these connections. Doing so will keep these connections extra solid and offer a little bit of waterproofing if you put glue on both sides of the connector. Let the glue sit a little bit and you'll be good to put the controller back into the scooter. Put the controller in first with the cables all facing the top and then gently massage all of them into place. Put the foam pad over the top and rest the seat on top with the threads going through the holes. Grab those three nuts and tighten the seat down.
And now your job is finished. And there you have it. Like I said, it's a really easy job to get taken care of. All you need is a little bit of patience and the know-how to get everything put back together the way that you took it apart. That's going to be where we leave this video today. If you have any questions or concerns that came up with your scooter while you were doing this job, leave those questions in the comments down below. If you have any ideas for other videos you'd like to see us do, leave those in the comments down below as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this video helps and I hope you enjoy your ride.